Hi students, it's Mr. Nguyen here. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be doing domain and range of absolute value functions. Okay, uh, so before we start, let's uh, review the parent functions really quick. Uh, the parent function is a y equal uh, absolute value of x and the graph. It's a v-shape with a slope of 1 over 1 and the vertex at the origin 0, 0. And the domain of the absolute value fu parent function is always um, uh, all real numbers. So it goes from negative infinity all the way to the right, which is um, positive infinity. However, the range is, um, the, the graph only appears in a certain uh, location on the y-axis. So for the parent function, it's all of the value that, uh, all of the values that are greater than or equal to zero. So it goes from zero to positive infinity. Okay, so um, when you're doing absolute value functions and transformations on these things, uh, pay attention to the range. So that's when you're moving the graph up and down. Okay, uh, moving it left and right won't affect the domain at all. Okay, so the domain actually remains um, all real numbers. Okay, let's begin. Uh, this is our first uh, IXL problem. So we're going to do uh, both today. We're going to use the graphs and the equations. Uh, to do the domain and range. Okay, so for this example, uh, they're asking for the domain of this function. So that's the parent function. Okay, it starts 0, 0, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. So this is the parent function. So the domain will be all real numbers, which is this option, submit. Um, the range for this one is, is also the parent function. We just talked about that. It is all the values that are greater than or equal to zero. So if you can see this, uh, this is not the right answer. So this answer is wrong. It's not all real numbers. It's this one looks like it's correct, but it doesn't include zero. You see, it has no equal sign. So that's not the correct answer. The one that's actually correct is this one. Okay. Uh, this one's wrong because it's going down. Okay. Submit. All right, this one is asking for domain. Now, uh, making the graph skinnier doesn't change the domain because it's still going on negative infinity all the way to positive infinity because of the arrows, okay? So this is, again, all real numbers. Submit. Uh, the range for this, um, okay, the graph did not move up or down. So the range will be the same as the parent. So it goes from zero to positive infinity. Remember, range is all the y values, OK? So uh, greater than or equal to zero would be the range for that one. Submit. All right, let's jump level here. Um, this one, the domain, OK, is this one, you notice the graph moved to the right one unit. But the domain, uh, which is the x uh, axis, uh, stays the same. It goes from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. So the, moving the graph left and right does not change the domain. So it's still going to be all real numbers. Submit. I, I'm going to go ahead and jump this. This one asks for both domain and range. Oh, this one's actually uh, different. So I'm going to do this one. I'm not going to jump level. So notice the, OK, so the domain, one thing to keep in mind, the domain is always all real. The range, however, the graph did move down. So the graph actually starts from here. So it starts from negative 5, and it goes all the way to positive infinity. So everything that is bigger than or uh, equal to negative 5. So we have two answer choices here that says that. But notice the last answer choice doesn't say all real on the domain. So it's the second answer choice that's correct. OK. Submit. All right, this one, again, to, uh, moving left and moving up. As you can see, this, this graph moved left and then move up. Moving left and right does not change the domain, so it's still going to be all real. So it's either one of these choices. Uh, the range begins at 3. So it starts at 3 here, right? So this is the line for the range. This is the line for the range right here, right here at 3, OK? And then it keeps going all the way up to positive infinity. So we're going to say that this uh, this range is anything bigger than or equal to 3. Anything bigger than or equal to 3, which is this option right here. OK, submit. All right, I think I'm going to stop here because it's uh, that's just going to repeat, right? The domain is all real. The, the range is from negative 8 all the way to infinity, which is this one right here. 
So it, it's uh, it's pretty much the graph. It's actually pretty easy. Let's uh, let's start working on the equation. The equation. This is the parent. So we know uh, review from last uh, time. Uh, the parent function, the domain is all real, right? So uh, that's an easy answer. We're gonna say all real here. All right. Uh, the the thing that makes this um, equation more challenging is because it's not visual, right? You can't see the graph. Uh, so we, we kind of have to use the transformation to um, determine the, the, the range. The domain is always all real. So uh, the range here for the parent function is greater than or equal to zero. Submit. All right, this one. Okay, notice now. Here's the here's makes here's what makes it challenging. Okay, what we need to do is we need to determine whether the graph actually moved up or down because we already determined that if you're moving left and right, it doesn't affect the domain. So the, uh, moving left and right happens inside the function, right in here. Moving up and down happen after the function, which is the value of the k value. If we notice here, there is no k value. So we know the graph did not move up or down. So the domain will remain all real numbers. OK. I hope I didn't say that too fast. Now, the range, the range, um, so the range, it's up and down, right? So if you see anything adding to the end, it will affect the range. If not, the range will always be greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero. So I'm going to say that the range did not change here for this equation. So it's going to be the same as before. Y is bigger than or equal to zero because it did not move up or down. OK. This one, same thing. Domain is all real. Domain and range. OK, notice this one right here. It moved down. Right, the graph moved down. Sorry, my my little mouse just want, want to work. Here we go. It moves down. That means my graph. Oh God, that's terrible graph. Anyway, I'm too lazy to draw the thingy. Here's the parent function. Okay, and here's the graph moving down three units. Right, as you can you can visualize it, or you can actually draw it. So the the domain actually start from here, and it go all the way up to infinity. Right. So we're gonna select. Um, uh, all real numbers for the domain, and then anything bigger than or or equal to negative three. Okay, so that will always be your range limit. Okay, and then one thing we also have to watch out for is the uh, the flip, right? The the negative. Okay, uh, which I think I think uh, if I skip on this, I'm gonna see the negative. Anyway, let me let me select this answer first, and then I'll go back to the graph because sometimes when the graph is reflected, we actually have to change the domain. I mean the range. So no reflection there. Uh, this one has no reflection, so the range is uh, is from two to positive infinity. The domain is all real, so it's this one right here. Let's see if this one does. It does not. It doesn't give you one where it actually reflected, huh? This is strange, but when it reflected, it actually changes the, the range. Um, it starts at negative infinity and it goes up to the maximum. So the domain here is all real and the range starts from two to positive infinity. So there it is. All right. All right. I don't think it's going to give you any uh, flip, but any, in any case, when you have a flip like this one right here, the range actually changed, right? The range here is going to be from negative infinity. Oops, sorry. Negative. My mouse does not work. So if you have a graph that goes like that, right, the domain is going to be a y uh, less than, less than or equal to whatever this maximum is. Let's say it's 2, right? So everything below here. So it goes from negative infinity comma 2, including 2, all right, and parentheses on the print, uh, on the infinity. So this is the, 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 the only difference, okay? So pay attention to the graph when it's actually reflecting, okay? So let's go back to our equations. Uh, I'm going to jump level here because it's getting to uh, repeat itself. So let's go to the challenge zone so I can see you some uh, show you some challenging problem. OK, so again, guys, the only thing we need to really watch out for is the range when it's reflected. 
So this one has no reflection, right? Because there is no negative. So we don't have to worry about it changing direction. However, we do move down five units. So if we move down five units, it's going to start at negative five and it, all, it goes all the way to positive infinity. That's going to be the, the range here. Okay. That's going to be your range. So the domain is REO. The range is anything greater than or equal to negative five, which is this answer right here. Submit. Okay. Awesome. Uh, we move up one, so we're going to start at one, no reflection, so we move up one, so anything greater than one or equal to one right here, okay? Submit. It's pretty easy. Um, okay, now here's the thing. Okay, if you notice a negative here, and you might be thinking, oh, it's a reflection, but this reflection is over the y-axis, which makes no difference. If you take this graph and you reflect it over the y-axis, it, it's going to be the same shape, all right? The only th times that it makes a difference if it's reflected over the x-axis, so it's going to go to the bottom. That's, it happens when the negative is actually on the outside, okay? That happens when the negative is on the outside. So when the negative is on the inside, it does not affect anything. However, our range has moved down five units, okay? So we're going to say that uh, the domain is all real and the range is everything bigger than or equal to negative five. All right, um, maybe this is my last problem. Um, so to see, show you that here is the negative that is outside, right? So the graph actually um, go like this, okay? The graph actually reflected and it moved up five units, right? So uh, you can visualize this or you can uh, look at the function and say, oh, it's reflected, so it's changing direction. And then it moved up five. That means this is the maximum value for the range right here. This is max for the range, right? Because that's where the vertex is. So I'm going to say that everything smaller than or equal to five would be my range. The domain is always uh, all real, okay? So anything greater, uh, less than or equal to five. This is the answer right here. Submit, okay? All right, uh, I think I'm going to stop here, you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want to try this and get all the way to 100, that would be great. Uh, these are actually pretty easy. If you have any question, uh, a screenshot and send them to my um, email, and I'll make sure I'll answer them for you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? Bye-bye.